Okay, everybody. Daniel McDaniel here. And I am bringing you a brand new video. I am showing you my Lego neck collection. And this is just a start off, you know, I just made these, so um, they might not be that great. My first one, I... It kind of sucks. Um, so I call it the letter opener, because of how small it is. Um, it uses a small white block with... So pretty much if you take one box, it'd be, I mean, you know, just here, here's an example, a small block like this size, there's seven of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, actually eight, sorry, it's just on another knife, and it has a helicopter piece from Lego City, and it kind of bends a bit. The reason why I call it a letter opener because it reminds me of a letter opener, you know, going like that. The second one, this one is my own, is kind of like something I got offline picture. I've never really, um, well, I mean, it's a um, real knife, but I just didn't have that many equipment. I mean, I couldn't, I was wasting my time on this one, you know, just scurrying around trying to make something. And this is what I made. Well, I wasn't just trying to make something. I was trying to make this. I um used too long of one of these. See, it's um a Russian type of knife. And these two things right here are supposed to. It's kind of like supposed to be a shank. In a way, these are the only two things I could find that uh, matched it. Got it was called. I by the way it looks. I call it. As you know, I call it the Russian bottle opener. Because Russians drink vodka for breakfast, so it's like, um, uh, I want some vodka. No, just go take this. Next, we have the shank. Uh, real shank, prison shank. And I, and this is, um, not like, a, this is Call of Duty Ghost Shank. So, um, right here on Call of Duty Ghost, this is where your, um, finger would go under. Right here, you'd put your pinky finger under here in Call of Duty Ghost. Up here, you don't put your fingers. Some people do. Think that this is for this. Back here is really what you put this finger on. Put your index finger on here, because when you shank, you jab, you stab them, and then you, um, press this down. From, because in Call of Duty Ghost, it's, um, your shank is ballistic. So that's the whole thing. And for this creation, of course, I'm taking apart. I use one of these white cylinders, um, one of these beaks from a bird. I use one, two, three, four, five of the round barrel things, and then one tiny white barrel thing about that size. And then I used a pillar from a Halo Lego thing, a pillar. And then I finally used this which is off of a Star Wars ship. It's the um landing gear for the um for the um Millennium Falcon. So um yeah, have fun building that one. You'd have to take the whole Millennium Falcon part. And I'm sure no one wants to take apart that. Crap. Next we have um an OTF knife, and some people mistake it for an OTT knife where it comes out the top. This is OTF. You have a little hinge right here on the back, and then you, and then what you do is usually, and I just put these two um, ladders here for a grip, and um, you go like this, and then somebody would, like you'd have your thumb in front, right here, push, push, and then there you have your OTF knife open. My um, mom's boyfriend, Chris, which whose house I'm living at right now, has one. And now, here, I'll show you. Okay, so first, you need one of these tiny little blocks, which I showed you earlier. And then from the Na Lego Ninjago um, Kai's motorcycle, which is awesome as hell, you take one of these from it. Yeah, I'm taking these whole things apart, but I put them back together. Then you need, uh, like, a... Uh, eight? An eight-inch long single block. One of these, it doesn't have to be blue, it just has to be a long one. 
two ladders. That's just my own little design. Um, and yeah, like I said, two. And um, one of these, which is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen inch single block. It, by single block, it would be a fourteen inch single, fourteen single block. And you, so you need two. And then here's how you'd kind of want to build it. Go like this. Connect the bottom first. Make sure the bottom is straight. Then you flip it. Connect the top. Put this in the middle. Bring this over. Stretch it a bit. Put that over. And then I would recommend not putting. I mean, putting in the blade first, so that way you have your room. Put it up all the way to the last little edge, which is four inch, which would be four blocks. Take this and put it right next to these two marks right here. The these two right here. Put this next to them. Hopefully you guys can see that a little bit better now. Can you guys see this better? There we go. These two right here. Grab the two ladders and put them right there. And then finally, take this small block, and you see how the knife is facing the front with the letters? Turn it to the back till you see these parts. Go to the very top in the middle one and place it right there. And this can be any color. Then you just flip it open like this. And boom, there's your OTF knife. Um, actually, I forgot to go over the parts for this. So I'll show you real quick. Um, this is from a, um, Lego Bionicles. It's his, um, arm. Um, this would, actually, no, I'm sorry, this is Hero Factory. This is, um, um, oh, what's his name? Crusher? Crushers. This is Crusher's leg. Right here. And, um, this, this is from Indiana, the Indiana Jones Motorcycle. This is um the um long piece that goes across the engine. Um these two things are from Lego um Hero Factory. This is um well the leaders, you know the guy that plays the wolf, I forgot his name. Yeah. And um this is his little um cannon. And um this little part, this is just the um like sh this is the shoulder blade of um the of Crusher's arm. So um yeah, that's his shoulder. So um that's all you gotta make it out of, really. I mean, it's not that hard. But then again, when I when I'm defining hard like that, I mean, it's kind of hard because you got if you don't have these right materials, you have to go out to the store and buy them. And um, finally, to my last and favorite, the Lego butterfly knife. Hold on. You know what? I'll do butterfly open style. Here it is. And the thing is, when you try to open it, it kind of bends itself a bit, so you gotta go like this. And, um, kind of made it a knife, but it's easier to close. Watch. Hope, hopefully, um, PC Gamer's watching. He loves these things. Closed. And now I'll show, and I hate to take it apart, but, alright, so you know one of these black things, like this? And it has the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 holes on it. You need four of those. You need four of the, no, at least one, yeah, four, four. Four of these. And, um, you're going to need, well, this I'm just going to have to take entirely apart. You're going to need, um, Oh, wait, I was pushing that out the wrong way. Okay. You're going to need one of these as your blade piece. You're going to need one of these little edged pieces as your own, because some butterflies knives have that. Um, you're going to need one of these, which have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 holes. And I would recommend using gray, or else it's going to look like a piece of shit. And right here, we got two of these small black things, right here, these small black things. I would recommend using the black ones because any other color makes it look like shit. 
and then I then use this. And there's ones that have straight holes. Do not use it, or else you will mess the whole thing up. And most people one have asked me, well, I made what well, most people have asked me when I've showed them this, why not use the ones that go straight? It's because it messes up the knife and makes the knife go forward when the knife should be sideways. And see, it has two holes on the side, two holes up front. That's what you need. It's easy to put together. Hold on. Okay, it's easy to put together. All you gotta do is take this, put it between that, and then take the uh, other one, and I put it in opposite way. Because when you put it in opposite ways, you actually kind of remember. Then you take these like this, go like that, and then right here on the end, take another one of these blue things. Then take this, attach it right there to this. Then after you've put on your first peg piece, I recommend putting on the knife blade, which is this. Just put those two black things right here in the middle, like that. You guys can see that? And then put the gray piece on. After that, grab your blade piece, put it on the very, very top, like that. And then you take this, which adds the rest. You can put the edges on either side. Hold on, wait. I'm sorry. I just messed this up real quick. But I um, kind of just messed this up a bit. Okay, there we go. See, so like that. Like that. Got a nice shiny blade. And then um, you take another one of these black parts. Hold on. Fixing that. And you slap it on. Then you take the blue part, put it onto the black part. Why does this thing keep messing up? Oh. Hold on, guys. I hate it when this thing freaking does that. Like, you know, like your pieces get bent. Yeah, this has been doing bending like crazy. It's like so annoying. It's like easy to bend with your teeth back together, but you know, I don't want to break it either, so. And then, yeah, I mean, it won't pop off. And then after that, you put it right here. So, sorry to stop that little conversation. And then put the other black thing on, just like I said. Not trying to make any racist comments. Like there. And boom. And you got yourself a butterfly neck. And so, that concludes our little tutorial. And a little um kind of demonstration I'll put it on my Lego knife collection. Sorry guys, that's my mom. <laughs> it's laundry night. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure you guys won't notice as you see all these cool knives. So see you later. This is Daniel McFaniel signing out. See you later. Peace.